So today we are still in North Wales, as you may remember from last week, if you watched last week's uh, vlog, then we climbed Crib Goch, which is just over there. We got back to the tent at like half twelve in the evening and then went to bed at, at one. But uh, it's safe to say Mimi and me are feeling very tired, so if the energy levels are lower today, I'm very sorry, but I will try, I will try. and. Uh, Keep them up. We started off super nice and easy with a very, a quite a highball, scary-ish 4C. Oh, why I hold so small on fours. <laughs> if I fall off this, I'm gonna quit. Do you want a spot? No. <laughs> oh, jugs. Glorious jugs. How do they make you? No one actually knows. Because you're so glorious. Oh, we're going to have jugs. Oh. That's actually pretty high. Memes, how was it? That yeah, was really good. Like, the climbing's super easy, but it's just so high. It is very That's high. the highest thing I've ever soloed. At least it's super juggy. That's true. Right, 6B next, this thing? Yeah. Yeah? And then you top out on the right. On the left. Yes. Sloper on the right. Come. On. Yeah, yeah, up, 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 up. Yeah, it's there. It's good. Nice move. Left hand's really good there. Yeah. really anything good to hold. <laughs> no, just got to use the feet I think. Like climb around the corner on the left and you can stand up. Oh. Nice. Did I flash that? Yeah. Amazing. Nice move. Thanks. How was that? That was good. First six we flashed ever, no? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. God, I've not got the head for heights though. I'm like <laughs> freaked out by that a little bit. You look good though, it's safe. Good though, yeah. It's because I trust my ability though. Like if it was hard, I'd probably freak out. Okay, so next up on the list of things to try is number 24 Utopia left hand SDS sits down start, I guess. 60 plus. Oh god. I don't know. I don't like the sit down spots, it's not very good for tall people, it's not the GPS. Oh. <laughs> nice. I can't see what I'm doing because the sun's right in my eyes. I feel like I was close, but who knows? Oh. 
60 plus slaps are hard. Oh. Ow. The trick was, so I changed my beta. I went from going this big move from here to this hold. I went right hand to here and left hand to here. And you can use these intermediates and then left hand again to, to there. But that is a very, very nice boulder. Ah, oh, feeling better now, feeling less tired, feeling good. It's just climbing always solves everything. Okay, so next up on the agenda is this crack. Goes at a devastating grade of 5A. Meme? Yeah, I think so, 5A. 5A. So obviously it's pretty easy, however, it is pretty high. Wish me luck. scary especially the top it's not as it is juggy but there are it's not as juggy as you would like if you're on this ledge which is slopey and you have like a few jugs behind it which feel a bit mole um mossy and then you have to kind of i kind of just like like oh i want to get my entire body on this ledge so i know i'm not going to fall off and the big the, the beginning of the crack is also quite wet so you're hoping that the top is not wet which it isn't but uh you wouldn't want to fall from the top. But yeah, I didn't die, so all is well with the world. Okay, so we're done with the wavelength area or Utopia boulder. We're gonna head over to try Lizard King, which is just over there. Um, it's a boulder I tried ages and ages ago. There's actually a vlog, one of my first ever vlogs was of trying that and shooting in Lambaris Pass. But yeah, it'd be nice to get back on it and see if I've got any, any better. And here it is, this is Lizard King. It, I forgot how cool it looks. I reckon, it's, for me, it's one of the best, coolest lines in the past. And last time I tried it, I remember it feeling utterly desperate. I haven't pulled on yet. But the holds do look a lot bigger than I remember, so fingers crossed that, uh, that it feels okay. The conditions are great because all the wind is blowing up through this pass, all onto the hold, so it's kind of like the perfect bolt to be getting on right now. <sighs> One. Shoes. Just trying all the moves. Slowly starting to come together. It felt impossible to start with, but I hadn't really pulled on anything that was that powerful today. Only kind of easy, easier things. So it's nice now. I feel like the power's coming back a little bit. And I've done all moves apart from one now, so that's pretty good. So hopefully I'll do that move and maybe start trying from the ground. Such a good ball though. 
skin is not happy with me. <laughs> like I'm here again the mess up <laughs> kind of the end of the boulder big move finish and now I can't even do the start move so I don't really know what to say it's not going particularly well anymore unfortunately I have a longer rest and then try again I'm feeling a little bit despondent because I thought I could actually do it but it's slipping away quickly feels tired. Like, that holds so hard to hold now. As soon as I got this, as soon as I got this, I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna do it. Oh, that's nice. Just when I thought all hope was lost, and I'd fallen off the first move so many times, I was like, I'm tired. I was thinking about when am I gonna be able to to come back here to North Wales and try it again, and because it's such a cool line. I've always I've been thinking about what well, I've wanted to do this for so long. Ah, and then I was like, oh, big rest. Some wind came. I did the first move, bam, to that three finger, kind of good hold, but the big, big first move. And um, as soon as I hit that, I hit it perfectly. I was like, oh, okay, I'm actually kind of in here. Not, I didn't think that, but that's what I thought, if that makes any sense. Hit that, I was like, okay, I'm in here. And uh, this, you know, I feel like I'm gonna do it this go. And I climbed it perfectly, like not a single mistake. And that's such a nice feeling when you, that's something I love about climbing is that feeling of when you're trying something hard for, for you, and when it just clicks and you climb perfectly and you just feel perfect just for that moment and it's such a good feeling. So next up we are going down there. What's going on Memes? What, what, are you, what are you trying? Trying a problem that is a 60 plus. It's quite hard for me. I've not got much skin left but you know. Cool. Oh, it's good. It's a good one. <laughs> I didn't dry hard enough. <laughs> it just hurt too much. It's like classic. My skin is on fire thing. Yes. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. No. So close. So I think for me it's going to be hands here, left hand, right hand, left foot here, into this tiny horrible thing. Go! Like that. So left hand, go. Jump. This is the worst, hardest 60 plus 60 I've ever tried. It's nails. Ah. 
can't believe you can just go from here and then reach. Sorry. It's insane. Really unfair. This boulder is kicking our ass. It's so hard, it's genuinely the hardest 60, 60 plus in the world. I've already said that today. It's the next hardest 60, 60 plus. <clears throat> Do it. I think if I had more skin, says everybody ever, but it, genuinely, if I had more skin, these tiny crimps wouldn't feel so painful. Yeah. Ah, oh, I wish I had more skin. <laughs> Why is my skin so bad? Nice. Mom. Yes. Too tired Please to hold the camera. Bit. Okay, so we're having we're sat, facing a lake. We're sat having fish and we finished our fish and chips um in a lake. So pretty. But that this is a good place to end our North Wales adventures. It has been super fun. We it's kind of an interesting trip really. The first two days, the, f the first day we got here, we were a bit later than planned, and then we got very, very lost trying to find a boulder. And then by the time we did find it and did it, it was already late, so we didn't get quite as much climbing done on the first day as we liked. And then the second day it rained all day, so we didn't get to climb then either. The first two days maybe felt a little bit frustrating because we didn't get to do everything we wanted to do. Um, but it didn't matter because then the third day we climbed Crib Goth and did loads of climbing, and then today we climbed a lot as well, and we're about to about to drive home. It is roughly 7 o'clock? Yeah. Maybe 8.30. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, probably that. Yeah, 8.39, let's say. And we're about to drive back to Bristol. It is a four hour drive. So we'll be home a little bit later. Yep. Be tired, but it's good. It's worth it to then be able to climb all day today, I think, for sure. Otherwise, it, you know, you kind of feel like you miss a day. But, um, yeah, it is nice. It's been a great trip. It's been really nice. I love North Wales. It's super good. That's your first time here. How did you like it? It's been so good. I mm -hmm. really want to come back. We will. So much to try. <laughs> so much to climb. So many boulders. <laughs> but as always, guys, I hope you are staying safe and well. And I will see you on the next one. Love you, bye. Peace. Bye, North Wales. Thanks for having us. Love you. Give me that cheddar, bacon, Rico. Big money rolls like burritos. Give me that hot sauce, no pico. Give me that, give me that. Give me my slippers, call me my mosa. My limousine and my chauffeur. So don't know the I snore